Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. Today, we're going to talk about environmental variables because a lot of you guys in the comments have been asking me about them. There seems to be a lot of confusion around them, so we're going to kind of try and demystify them today, okay? So let's get started. Let's talk about uh, Bash, how we can deal with environmental variables. Well, in Bash, how can we differentiate a regular variable from an environmental variable? We really can't. They kind of occupy the same namespace. So if we have foo here and we set it equal to hello, well, we can echo foo. That's really great. That works perfectly. If I start up a new instance of Bash and then we echo foo, it's gone. It's gone because it only existed in that uh, shell. So if we were to echo it now because I quit out of it, hey, foo is back. Well, what can we do? We can export foo. Now it says that it is in our environment. So if I were to rerun bash, cool. And if I echo foo, bam. Now we actually have it. It is set to hello, whereas before we just printed nothing. If we set foo equal to goodbye, and then we echo foo, sorry, this prompt is gnarly. It's set to goodbye. But if we quit out of that shell, and then we echo foo again, it's set to hello. That's because the goodbye was run in a different process and that doesn't persist in the uh, parent process that we're in. So it's back to what we set it to. The nice thing is because we exported it, we can change it here. We could change it to goodbye. We could start a new shell and then we could echo foo and it's set to goodbye. Because we only have to export it once, whatever we set it to now will be set in our environment and will be inherited by child processes. So what are some other fun things we can do with this? Well, here's something interesting. If we use the env command, we can look at my environment. Get ready for this, it's gonna be a lot, okay? It's gonna show me every environmental variable and some of them have color in it and there's a lot of stuff going on. So let's uh, let's make this easier to look at. Well, we know we set something called foo, so we can grep for foo. There it is, foo is set to goodbye. Foo equals hello. Grep for foo, and there it is. So the environment is not necessarily a a variable that's defined in bash, but variables that are defined in bash may be in the environment, okay? So if you have an environmental variable, it will be defined in bash and you can use it, but just because you have a variable doesn't mean it's in your environment. When you export something, it puts it in your environment and that will get inherited by child processes or subshells that are created, okay? If you don't export it, it will not be in child processes. It will be in subshells, but it won't be in child processes that get executed. Because env, in this example, env is actually, let's take a look, it is user bin env. It's a command, it's a child process. So we set foo in bash, we grep for it here. We're actually executing a child process named env and there it is, it's being sent to the child process, it's being inherited by it. So hopefully this demystified environmental variables a little bit for you.